Stream, our watershed next to the Dedham School, and we're here with the entire eighth grade class of the Dedham School, and we are looking for invasive and native species. I love the vital science program because um, why I got into teaching science was to teach kids about the place they're from and to have a really strong sense of place. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Which is impossible to do uh, when you're reading out of a textbook. So anything I can do to keep them learning about where they're from. So today we're down at the mill stream and we're, we're checking in to see how healthy it is and we're particularly looking for rock shot. So we're out here dispersed along this river looking for Didymo. Oh, that's Didymo. Hey, is that Didymo? I don't think so. Alright, yeah, it might be a... It looks too boxy. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like wet wool either. No, yeah. it'd be a lot softer than that. Yeah. yeah. So why did you choose the rock snot mission instead of some of the others? Well, because I thought it was pretty interesting and normally I don't really like science all that much, but when I heard about uh, rock snot, I, it kind of interested me and I wanted to see if we actually had it in our river. Why do you think vital science is an important thing to be involved in? Well, because it's actual real science that real scientists will be looking at and it's important to like to the people in the science world. Science community. Science community. And Danny, do you think um, vital science is a better way of spending science class and reading out of textbooks? Yes, I do. Because uh, it's what real scientists do. When you originally got the sample, did you think you had actually found it? Uh, no, we knew we didn't find it because we were holding in our hands. It said that it was supposed to feel like wet wool, and what we had felt like we used to feel like wool. 